Hi and welcome to the video on theoretical probability. By the end of this video you should be able to find the theoretical probability of an event occurring. So let's take a look. If you were to roll a dice there are six possibilities. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is called the sample space. If you flip a coin there are only two possibilities, heads and tails. This is also called the sample space. If you select a card from a regular deck there are 52 possibilities. All of this is called the sample space. The sample space is a list of all the possible outcomes when conducting an experiment such as rolling a dice, flipping a coin or selecting a card from a deck. Probability is usually written as a fraction and I have three examples here in front of you. This represents the probability of rolling a 3 which is 1 out of 6. This is the probability of flipping a head which is 1 out of 2. And this is the probability of selecting an ace which is 4 out of 52. And we're going to show you how to get these fractions. Let's look at probability when rolling a dice. This is the sample space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 elements when rolling a dice. There are no other possibilities. So if I want to know the probability of rolling a 2, I may want to sh write that in a shorter way. This is just P bracket 2 and then end the bracket. I would read that as P of 2. And the P of 2, the probability of 2, is 1 chance out of 6 or 1 sixth. The probability of rolling a 6 or P of 6 in a shorter way is exactly the same. There is 1 6 in my sample space out of a possible 6 possible numbers. The probability of rolling a number greater than 4 can be shortened to P with a greater than symbol with a 4 after it. Now I'm going to try and figure out how many numbers when I roll a dice are greater than 4. Well the only two possibilities are 5 and 6. This means that there are two possibilities out of a 6 in the sample space. Now if you're really good you could simplify that 2 out of 6 to 1 third which means that 1 out of 3 times when rolling a dice you should get a number greater than 4. What about the probability of rolling a 7? This could be shortened to P of 7. Now when you look at those numbers there is no 7 there. So there is 0 chance out of 6 possibilities which we would shorten to 0. If something has a 0 chance then it means that it is impossible to happen and it's impossible to roll a 7 when rolling a dice. What about the probability of rolling a number? This could be shortened to the probability of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, there are 6 chances of getting a number out of a possible 6 in the sample space. So 6 out of 6 or 1 hole. If something has a probability of 1 hole, we say that there is a 100% chance of it happening or we say that it is certain, sort of like the sun rising. So when you roll a dice, you will definitely get a number every time you roll. So what should you write to get an idea about theoretical probability? Well, probability is a fraction. The top number is the number of favorable outcomes and the bottom number is the total number of outcomes or the size of the sample space. Then I'm going to get you to write down three examples and actually draw those dice. I'm not always going to get you to draw the sample space but it is a good opportunity because rolling a dice only has six possibilities. And that's it. That's the general idea for theoretical probability. Hopefully now you can find a way of getting the expected probability, but we're going to look at a video next on experimental probability where we don't always get what we think we're going to get. Good luck.